Part two of the eyes. At this point, you can zoom in on one eye. We should have the main details of the eye done. I'm gonna zoom in on Mrs. Hayes' eye. And I wanna show you a couple tips for eyelashes and eyebrows. Now I'll link to another video in case you wanna pin tool them because you can pin tool the eyebrows and even the eyelashes. If you had a drawing tablet, a lot of people like to use the pencil tool and draw these out. But I'm gonna show you another technique that might help. I'm gonna take my selection tool, my black arrow. I'm gonna come over to my symbols. I'm gonna open up my symbols palette. In the bottom left, I'm going to open up my symbols library menu and I'm gonna to come to hair and fur. Hair and fur. I'm gonna click that and you can see this window pops up. I can now close my symbols panel. I don't need it. I have all these options for hair and fur. Remember they're symbols. You can break the link after you bring them in to change the color. You just wanna look for shapes that will kinda of match, okay? So maybe I take this right here and I drag it out and then I can turn and rotate, kind of line it up. I can make it bigger, smaller, skinnier, all kinds of things. I can click on it and break that link. That's gonna allow me to change the color and then I can make it black if I wanted. However, as I'm drawing, let me undo that. I'm just gonna keep it gray for now because it's actually easier for me to see on the black. You can draw out some different thicknesses, right? You can bring another one out like this. And then again, kind of spin it. Line it up where you want, right? Maybe that one doesn't work, who knows? You can also take one you already have. You can option drag it to make a copy. I might spin it a little bit so their bottoms kind of match up like that, right? The bottom points are kind of close. That might look kind of like an eyelash. I move this one over with another option drag, rotate it so they're kind of close and you can start to see how I have eyelashes. You can use any of them here, you can always change the color. You can do the same thing here, right? We can take these shapes, or these symbols, sorry, and you can rotate, kind of get it the way that that is going. Break the link if you want, so you can change the color later. I wouldn't even say if you want, I would just do it out of habit. And you can option and drag, and I would kind of maybe slightly move them off, have a couple overlapping. You might even want to add in some variety, right? Because not all eyelashes are the same. So you might want to do something like this. I mean, sorry, eyebrows. Even eyelashes, you might want to vary it up so that you have different sizes. And then after you have them all drawn, I would highlight them all and right, break the link so that you can color them and do all that type of stuff. So there's a little tip on eyelashes and eyebrows. If you don't want to draw with the pen tool, use the hair and fur symbols.